Auburn lines up to kick this one off, and we're just about set to get underway. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Burrow gains about five yards on the option play. That brings him second and five. From their own 24 yard line, second down. He's going to try and scramble. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. And he's taken down at the 34. He made a real nice play on that one. I'll tell you what, in today's game, you have to have the ability to run the football. Give the quarterback a lot of credit. He made a great play and really gave his team a boost. Gets it out quickly. And they make the stop at the 35-yard line. They didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 35. Quick throw to the tight end. They'll bring him down at the 46-yard line. Good pitch and catch there on second down. Yep, it was good enough to get him a first down. That's just a nice play. First and 10, ball on the 46-yard line. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. No gain on the play. That makes it second and 10. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. And he tackles him hard at the 46. Boy, Brad, that was a big hit on the quarterback. I'm going to be interested to see how he responds from this hit and whether or not he comes after his offensive linemen and challenges them to start playing a little bit better. So the sack makes this third and very long. Three down, three down. Hey, check mark 33. Dog four. Blue four. Brought down at about the 31. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. Here's the eighth play of the series. Tackle at the 34-yard line. Three yards. That, that brings, brings up second, second and 13. Second and 13. Ball on the 34 yard line. Throws complete. He's got room to work. Inside the 10. Breaks one and scores. the PAT. So a nine-play, 80-yard drive, and the result, seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drop. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. So the score now, 7-0. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Run left side. Tackle made around the 34-yard line. 
brings up second and one. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. He's hit and taken down. So they complete that for about seven yards, and they'll pick up a first down. Nice protection, a good pass, and even a better catch. He can't ask for much more than that. Gets rid of it quickly, and that was almost picked. As a defender, you want to keep your hands up. Maybe you can come away with a pick or at least deflect the ball. From their own 41-yard line, it's second down. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. And this crowd is going absolutely crazy. And down he goes, right around the 46 yard line. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. Not much of a problem getting the ball in the end zone on their last drive, as this quarterback just picked apart the defense. As long as this quarterback has time to throw, then you can guarantee that he'll find the open man. Ball is loose, fumble, and they fall on the loose ball. He's tackled at the 28. That's a pretty big mistake, and this offense will lose possession of the football. Sloppy job by the ball carrier. First and foremost, you should always be concerned about the ball. to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. He's at the 20. He's taken down around the 10-yard line. That's good for a game of 18 yards. That makes it first and goal. First and goal, and if they can execute, we'll be all tied up. Three down, three down. Right game, right game. Right Here's the pass, broken up. And that one was oh so close. Close call is right. If he just put a little bit more touch on the ball, that would have been a big play. But let's give credit to the linebacker. That was an athletic play there by the defense. Big hit, and he'll lose yardage. From the 11-yard line, third down. They're one of the loudest crowds in the country, and they are on their feet. Rifles it left. It's going the other way. He came up with a fantastic interception there. Well, you know the quarterback is kicking himself for that one. He just made the wrong read. LSU is up a score. Takes it right. Oh, what a hit. No game. That makes it second and ten. From their own 20 yard line. Let's go, let's get this it's ball. second down. And he's tackled around the 33 yard line. Carries the ball for a nice game. They get about four on that keeper. That makes it second and six. Hey. 
Second and six. Ball on the 37-yard line. Now he tries to buy some time. And he's taken down at the 39. him hard at the 48. The defense might need to make some changes to their coverage scheme because that was just too easy. First and 10, ball on the 48. Throws complete, he's got space to work. Run down in the open field. the 28 yard line first down, get down, get down. LSU is up seven Black ball, go. throws it and it's tipped away this is a very well coached defense they know to get their hands up in the air and to try to knock down passes this is the ninth play of this drive he gets out to about the 28 yard line That'll make it 39. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 18. Four down, four down. Hey, check back 33. Check back 33. He's looking for six. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. Nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads-up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. LSU is hoping to make this a two-score game. It has the distance. No good, he hooked it right. Offense comes back out, looking to improve from their last effort. Well, they're already playing from behind the eight ball, but they have plenty of time to get back in this thing. He fights forward to about the 30. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 30-yard line. Caught, and he's hit immediately. We've got a third and six here. Ball on their own 32. Always a noisy place to play and tough on the offense. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Fields a punt at the 20. They'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. We're about set to start things up again. LSU is up by a touchdown. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. And they make the stop at the 37. This game's already shaping up to be a good one as we head to the second quarter. LSU's lead is a touchdown. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Hey, check by 33. Check by 33. Watch the run. Watch the run. Red two. Go. Tackled after a decent pickup. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 44-yard line. Black five, black five, six, six. He 
He's scrambling. He's wrapped up for the sack. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 46. Roger, Roger. Mike Schick, 33. 33. I'll get him. Get him. Hey. He airs it out. And he's got it. And he's all the way in for the touchdown. Tacks on the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's taken down at the 20. Brad, as good as this defense has looked, I'm not necessarily surprised by this shutout. I mean, you and I were there on Wednesday watching this team practice, and when this first-team defense goes against their own first-team offense in a practice, sometimes it's actually better than the game itself. So they've prepared themselves very well to have this kind of game. Going over the middle, intercepted. They'll bring him down at the 22. The defense here comes up with a huge interception. They've already got the lead, and it looked like this offense was trying to get back in the game, but that was a big turnover. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 22-yard line. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. Brought down at the 14. Gets out to about the 12-yard line. Call it again, two yards. That'll bring up third and inches. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. They'll knock him down for a loss. It's a good surge by the defense. They really disrupted the timing on that play and gave them no chance to get the first. He gets it up, and it's off the upright, no good. Here's a step in the maturation of a young quarterback. How does he respond to throwing an interception on that last drive? The game is in danger of getting out of hand early. It's very, very important that they not only hang on to the football this drive, but they also need to get a score on the board as well. Second down and seven. Ball on the 23-yard line. Makes it to the 31. He's to the 40. Shakes off a tackle. Gains his way to the 46-yard line. You talk about a dual-threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. From the 46-yard line, it's first down. 
Nice run, and he's brought down. That makes it second and six. the delayed handoff. They'll lose yardage there on the draw play. Yeah, I think they did. Again, they came with the delayed handoff this time. The defense saw it coming and got to him for a loss. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 36. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. He doesn't want to touch back here. He wants to knock this ball inside the 10. Oh, excellent punt. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. Their kicker missed the field goal attempt the last time this offense had it. Let's see what happens this time around. Anytime you have a shot at putting points on the board and you don't get it, you get a little frustrated. But this offense is very capable of scoring at any time. Tackle at the 23 yard line. That's good for a gain of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. From their own 23 yard line. Second down. Hey, check my 33. Check my 33. Quick out to his receiver. And he's level at the 25 yard line. Gain of two yards. That'll make it third and five. He's on the run. They'll make the sack. It's a big time effort sack by the defensive end. I want to also give some credit to the coverage downfield. The end never gave up on the play, but because the quarterback didn't have anywhere to go with the football, it gave the defensive end enough time to eventually chase the quarterback down for that sack. kind of impact the special teams play will have on the series that comes after a play like that. This could be big for the defense. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Slings it. Tackle made at the 32-yard line. So on first down, they go to the air and pick up huge yardage. Well, that was just a well-executed play. They picked a perfect time to stretch the defense with a passing play, and it worked. Now it's first and ten after the big pass play. He fights forward to about the 29. Gatewood gains around three yards on the option play. That'll make it second and seven. Here we go, D. Crack out, crack out. Mike, eight. Here we go. Green, 95. Gets out to around the 18. That's good for a gain of 11 yards. First down. From the 18 yard line. First down. This defense has been in this situation before. They forced a huge turnover when they were backed into their own red zone last time. And they get nice yardage on that run. Call it a gain of six yards. That'll make it second and four. Hey, watch the screen! Watch the screen! Watch the screen! Down he goes, around the 11-yard line. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. He 
He's going to try and scramble. He's taken off. Diving for extra yardage. Great job here converting and keeping this defense on the field. They're getting very tired. The Tigers taking their first time out of the half. Let's go! Green Green. 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 Touchdown, Tigers! So they punch it in on the ground, Kirk Herbstreit. Great job up front by the offensive line. They get a good, strong push that allowed the runner to get it in there for the touchdown. He makes the PAT. Auburn, the kick. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. LSU, up seven points. The Tigers will use their first time out of the half. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. Quick throw. He's taken down at the 38-yard line. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 38-yard line. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. He airs it out. It's caught. To the 10. Spectacular play, and now it's first and goal. Big game there for the first down. There was some miscommunication down there by the defense that allowed for that big game. They've been stopped short down here the last two trips. Touchdown, Tigers. It's the PAT. A four-play, 76-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Well, Brad, right now this offense is hot, and they also took advantage of some mistakes there by the defense. The score now, 21-7. York looks ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Here comes the offense again. They'll try to make it two touchdowns and two possessions. I love to watch a quarterback when he can really get into sync with his wide receiver. These guys have worked all week on their preparation to attack this defense, and right now it's really paying off. Dives forward. So the keeper goes for about seven yards. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Around the 49-yard line. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. From the 33 yard line. First down. Mike 8. Mike 8. Set. Green 19. Quick toss. This one will fall incomplete. Great reaction to get his hands in the way of that pass. That's not an easy play to make. That makes it second and 10. Mike 6. Mike 6. It's our time. It's our time. 
Quick strike to the back, no good. There was just no way anybody could catch up with that pass. And this play is number eight on the drive. Caught open field, and he's taken down around the 25-yard line. Fourth down, so the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. Kicks away, and it's good! Well, we've played a half of football. The Tigers in front by 11. we played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. These offenses seemingly took advantage of every opportunity to make a big play. They were prolific, explosive plays at every turn. Offensive coordinators dialing up great calls at just the right moment, it seems. No, it did seem that way, and, and everything worked. But there's also the other side of the equation, too. And uh, we talk about it all the time. Da-da-da, da-da-da. You want to make top 10 plays, and you want to be celebrated. You want to see your clip for a couple days on SportsCenter. But when you're on defense, you can't always make a big Sports Center play. You can't try to decapitate somebody every single time. It's OK to make the easy tackle, grab their legs, wrap them up. Right now, a lot of sloppy tackling is making the offensive guys look 10 times better than they should be. You don't have to make Sports Center. You could just make the regular, normal, everyday play. We've done what we can do here at halftime. Time to get you back out to the second half. We'll keep an eye on everything going on in college football. Fred Nestler and Kirk Herbstreit ready with a call. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Throws. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. Call it a game of 14 yards. First down. First and 10. Ball on their own 39. He's tackled right around the 38-yard line. the stop at the 38. Third and 10. Ball on the 38. I don't know if they'll be able to hear his cadence in the midst of all this mayhem. Slings it. They'll bring him down around the 44-yard line. That makes it first and 10. From the 44-yard line, it's first down. Mike eight, Mike eight, ready, check, check, Spider. Catches it, and he's looking for more. He gets hit out of bounds, right around the 34. Gain 10 yards, first down. He's scrambling. He's at the 20. Slides down. It's always a snap decision when you decide to tuck it and run. On that play, it was definitely the right move as he got the first down after a nice game. From the 16-yard line, first down. And 
they'll bring him down behind the line. So they wrapped him up before he could get anything going. Yeah, there was nothing there on that option. Here's the eighth play of the series. Gets out to around the nine. That's good for a game of 10 yards. That makes it third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Unbelievable. They can't get this offense off the field. Oh, they've been like a machine on this drive. Very methodical and efficient. And once again, they're moving the chains. Brought down at the one-yard line. That's good for the game two yards. That brings him second and goal. From the one-yard line. Second down. the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Kirk, if this keeps going like it has been, we are going to have one exciting fourth quarter. I just hope we continue to see this kind of execution. It's a lot of fun to be able to watch these offenses make plays, and it kind of has that feel. Whoever does have the ball last and a chance to make a play can win this game. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. I'm after you. I'm after you. LSU is up four. He's scrambling, and he has it on the corner. He takes off. Tackle at the 36-yard line. From their own 36-yard line. First down. He scrambled. Tackle made at the 43-yard line. Wires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. They need about three yards to get the first down. Here on third down. He makes it to the 45-yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. That'll bring up fourth and one. They'll bring him down at the 31-yard line. They're ready to start another drive, hoping to duplicate the results of the last one, which ended in a touchdown. So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receiver. And right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. It's second and 10. Ball on the 31. Makes it out to about the 43. That's a deal of 12 on the play. First down. Tight right, tight right. Three down, three down. Mike six. Mike six. Ready. <laughs> Tackled and reduced pickup. 
That makes it second and six. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 47. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Always a noisy place to play and tough on the offense. He gets out to about the 48-yard line. The option is all about timing, and on that play, the timing was just off. That's going to happen sometimes. The punter is going to try to pin them deep in their own territory with a good punt here. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. The offense is looking to be a little bit more successful with this drive as they had to punt the ball away the last time they had it. LSU is up by four. Makes it to the 31. From their own 31-yard line, it's first down. And they get nice yardage on that run. That makes it second and six. Gets it out quickly. And down he goes at the 45-yard line. That makes it first and ten. From the 45-yard line, first down. He's on the run. He's taken down at the 41-yard line. That makes it second and six. There he goes. Gains his way to the 33-yard line. From the 33-yard line, first down. Gets out to around the 25. That brings up second and one. LSU holds a four-point lead. Tackled right away. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Gains his way to the 10 yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. converts the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. 
Let's see if this drive has a more rewarding conclusion than their last, which ended with a punt. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. There's one the quarterback would like to rewind because he has a wide open receiver and he just misfires. From their own 25 yard line, second down. Now he tries to buy some time and they get the sack. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction and it seemed to confuse the offense. And this crowd is going absolutely crazy. So at the end of three, LSU leads it 28-17. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. The 50, it's the sophomore that's got it. Boy, a big play like that can really spark this team. Look at the sideline. They're fired up, and if they score here, could put them in a position to maybe tie this game up. Now it's first and 10 with a defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. After a decent run up the gut. Call a game of six yards. That'll make it second and four. Larry, Larry. And he makes it out to about the 31 yard line. So we're looking at another third down here. The intimidation factor is definitely here when you're playing in this stadium. Nice run there. This kind of execution from an offense can really affect the defense and their psyche. That's the second time on this drive alone they've been able to convert on a third down. This defense has got to be able to kind of gather themselves and try to find some confidence. And somebody on that defense has got to be able to make a play to slow this offense down. They go to the left for a nice game. That makes, that makes it second and six. six. This is the eighth play of this drive. They'll knock him down for a loss. If these defenders continue to exploit the O-line like that, it's going to be a long day for this running back. So far this drive, the defense has been unable to stop them on third down. This crowd can really be intimidating for an opposing team. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. That's the third time they've converted on third down on this drive. When you can stay on the field in these kind of situations, you're doing something right. This is the 10th play of this drive. Play fake and looking to run. And he's tackled at the two. That's a game seven on the way. That brings him second and goal. They're at the two. Second down. Here's the halfback. They'll get him for a loss. He was never able to get ahead of steam on that carry. This is the 12th play of the drive. Listen to this place. He's going to try and scramble. And he's taken down at about the three-yard line. So the offense will stay on the field. It's fourth down from the two. Touchdown, Tigers.
It takes a lot of strength to run it when you're heading into a massive pile of bodies. Good job of holding on to it and getting it across the goal line. So the offense will stay on the field and attempt the two-point conversion. And he comes up short on the two-point conversion. So a 13-play, 75-yard drive. And they get six points on the board after failing the two-point conversion. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. And he carries the ball for a nice game. From their own 30-yard line, it's second down. And he's hit immediately. He's got 300 yards passing now. This young man really works at it, and it's always a boost to see that hard work reflected in the box score. He should be very pleased. Black five. And they make the stop around the 49-yard line. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. From their own 49-yard line, it's first down. And he is drilled at the 48. That's good for a gain of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. Gets it out to the wide out, and he's got the first. He's tackled at the 37. Besides going deep on the fade, the slant route is probably the most commonly run route against man coverage. If the receiver gets a good inside release, it'll be a new set of downs every time. Sullivan picks him up six yards with a catch. So it's second down now. They need about four yards to pick up the first. Pass out to the tight end, but it's incomplete. And this play is number eight on the drive. Come on, D. Mike, check 33. And two. Blue four. Check, check. Dancer, dancer. Got a man, but he's tackled back behind the line of scrimmage. Number 17, tackles in the backfield at the 32-yard line. That'll bring up fourth and five. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. He gets it up, and he nails the long field goal. LSU is lining up to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Just under three to go in regulation. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That's good for the game of seven yards. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Now 
he's scrambling. He's to the 40, diving for extra yardage. Down around the 40 yard line. Quick pass. They'll bring him down at the 48 yard line. We've got him first and 10. Ball on the 48. Knocked out of bounds at the 46. That's good for the two yards. That makes it second and eight. Tackle at the 38. Nice job by the running back, and that'll get him seven, maybe eight yards. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. These fans are showing you why teams hate to come here, folks. He's at the 30. Tackle made at about the 27-yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. Under a minute left in the game. And down he goes at the 22. Any offense is predicated on being able to move efficiently like this. We've got a second and five. Ready. Ball on the 22. Ready. Now he's flushed and they got it. Well, we talked all week with these coaches, and even when we met with them yesterday out at practice, they told us there were some big concerns about facing these defensive ends. They thought that they might be able to hold up against it, maybe get the ball out of the pocket a little bit quicker, maybe use running backs and tight ends to help with double teams. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. in the fourth quarter and the big question is in a game this close who's going to crack first very important play coming up and if they can get these two yards we'll have a tie ball game Whitlow takes a handoff they don't get it at the 44-yard line. And what a game it's been for this quarterback, Kirk. Well, this is really just one of those games where it's all coming together. He's making the right reads, he's delivering the football in rhythm, and the most important thing is he's playing with confidence. And unless the offense bungles this possession, they're going to pull out a squeaker. This might be it. They've got the lead, but if they add to it, they know they've got a victory. We have less than a minute to go. Takes a knee. The Tigers using their third and final timeout. From the 46-yard line, second down. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. And the quarterback's going to take a knee to drain this clock and any hopes the opposition may have had. Great game here today in a tight one. LSU 31, Auburn 29. As we finish up the broadcast, what do you have to say about how this game turned out, Kirk? Well, this one really could have gone either way. Auburn played a good game out there, but they needed to make one or two more big plays, and they couldn't do it. Who knows? Another couple minutes, and this one may have gone the other way.
That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.